Hey there YouTube, Arvinus69 here. Today we're going to have a look at how to play Steam VR games on your Oculus Quest. Now if you've seen my other video on this, I did the unboxing video on launch day for the Oculus Quest and I absolutely love this piece of kit. Been playing with it non-stop since it launched and I absolutely love it. However, I have just seen um, a post on Reddit and doing a bit of research and found out you can play Steam VR games on the Oculus Quest for free. Now, just to make it clear, this will not install Steam VR games on your Oculus Quest. You will need a PC to run the software from and you stream it from the PC over to the Oculus Quest. But it does give you six degrees of movement and freedom and it does track both controllers. Now, the second thing is you do need to unlock your Oculus Quest in development mode. And you also need to sideload the apps onto the Oculus Quest when in development mode. So in this video, I'll show you how to do all that and get it up and running. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is put the Oculus Quest in development mode. And for that, we need to be on the laptop. So let's have a look. So the first thing we need to do is head over to dashboard.oculus.com. All these details will be down in the description below. Um, once here, log into your account um, using your Facebook account and register for a developer account. It's very easy, very straightforward and totally free. Now, once that's done, we need to jump over to your mobile phone and connect up to your Oculus headset. So fire up the Oculus app. Once in here, go to settings and connect to your Oculus Quest. Once connected, drop the menu down, go into more settings and then click on developer mode and slide the bar across at the top there. And that is your Oculus in developer mode. So with the headset now in developer mode, we need to head back over to the laptop and download some software in preparation for all this. So we need to head over to XDA developers and from here, install ADB. Here's the latest version, 1.4.3 at the time of recording this. And if we download that from the mirror, there we go, and that download. And then the next thing we need to do is download ALVR. Now this is the software that will allow you to stream the Steam VR content from your laptop or your PC over to your headset. So this is currently in alpha at the moment, so it is very early stages. Um, it will be a little bit buggy at times, but we hope this will get better over the time. So you've got a portable and a normal setup and also the APK file. Now I've already downloaded the portable version and the APK. So once they're downloaded, if we head back over to the desktop, we'll see here's all the downloads. So you need to extract the ADB files, which I've already done into there. Run that and do yes, yes, and yes. And there we go, that's ADB installed. It is that easy. Now with ADB installed, what we need to do is fire up a command prompt and navigate over to where we installed ADB2, which is on the root of the C drive. If we get our USB cable and we connect up the Oculus Quest headset, make sure it is powered on. And then from the command prompt, do ADB devices. and we'll have our device. Now, if this is the first time you're running ADB for your Oculus Quest, you will need to go into the headset and confirm connectivity between ADB and the, uh, the headset. You can tick a box in there to always allow from this computer and that will be the end of all that. So that's done and dusted. The next thing we need to do is sideload the APK to allow ALVR to work. So if we go back over here, we get our file. I'd recommend renaming this to something a bit more simpler and something you'll understand. So just call it ALVR. From that, copy it into the folder where ADB is. And you can see I've already got mine here. So that's over. Now with the device registered in ADB and the APK file in our ADB folder, what we need to do is ADB install ALVR.APK, hit enter. Now my install will fail because I've already got it installed on this device. There we are. Once that's completed, I recommend reset the, uh, the Oculus Quest headset and let it reboot and come back up again. And that should be that part done. 
So the next part is to extract ALVR. So if we go into here, we extract all this out and I've already extracted mine into this ALVR folder. If we go into it and we launch ALVR, we're presented with um, the initial window here. Now in here, there are a lot of settings across the top. We have video where you can choose the codec you want to use. Um, I'll leave it on 264. Your bit rate, I found on my network, 20 megabits per second is about acceptable. I don't get any glitching or anything like that. If you can go higher, go higher by all means do so. Um, the resolution is 100%. That works for me on my network settings. Again, may be different from yours. If you can go higher without any latency, etc., 150% is about the native resolution of the Oculus Quest, and I wouldn't recommend going any higher than that. I leave mine at 100. I leave the buffer alone. Controller, we want to enable both controllers so we can track them. Sound, we can stream the sound or we can use default device. If you stream the sound, you probably will get a bit more latency as it's pushing the sound over to the Oculus Quest. If you can live with the sound coming from your PC or your laptop or whatever, do that and you will save yourself a little bit of bandwidth. Um, other, honestly, haven't played with any of these settings yet, so do so if you wish, but I'm not familiar with these settings. Debug, it says there, don't touch this panel, so I've left it alone. And lastly, the About tab. You want to pay attention to the About tab. If it doesn't say Driver is installed, go ahead and click Install Driver. It takes about three seconds, and that is it, done and dusted. Once you've got all that set, you're pretty much now ready to launch Steam VR on your Oculus Quest. Now what I will say is make sure your PC or your laptop is connected via Ethernet and you do have to be on the same network as the Oculus Quest and the PC, they have to be on the same network. So with that said, we've got mine connected. We'll just unplug the USB cable from my Oculus Quest, pop the headset on. So we're in our library, if we look over to the side we'll see unknown sources. In here we'll see ALVR if we click on that. And then if we check our PC we'll see it's picked the headset up. We click connect and start server. If we jump back into the headset, you can see our controllers, they will change in a second. So here we are in the Steam house. Oh, I've got a bit of pixelation there. But as you can see, everything is working from Steam VR. Um, I have a funny feeling my headset has just dropped from the 5 gigahertz network in my house. It's not the best in the world. There you go. And from here, you can launch any game that you want to play. Um, to be honest, I'm not overly familiar with Steam VR as I don't have a Windows based VR headset. This is the only one I have along with my PS VR. So I'm still getting to, to know my way around this, uh, this house and this environment, but there we are. That is Steam VR running in the Oculus Quest. And if you want to quit, just hit your Oculus button on your controller and quit, and then you're back into your normal Oculus house. And that is all there is to it. So there we have it. That is how you sideload apps and install Steam VR onto the Oculus Quest and get it working. Now do remember that this is in alpha, so it isn't a fully polished product yet. However, it is free. There are other software out there that you can play Steam VR games with that I might do a video on in the future, but those are paid software. This is completely free. And just remember, it's best to have your PC or your laptop connected via Ethernet and this on a five gigahertz network that's the same as the, the laptop or the PCs. So yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please smack the thumbs up or the thumbs down button, but please leave me a comment below and let me know what you thought of the video. And if you can mash the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, helps out immensely. Until next time, take care.